Hi everyone, this is Deb Tim, a Canadian girl. I look at this tank, my 75 gallon Ambuna community. I watch these gorgeous creatures for hours. I am so afraid for them. I'm living on pins and needles. I wash my hands a hundred times a day fearing I touch the infected fish tank or their water or somehow mixed up my nets. I can't use my python on the sick tanks. I'm back to hauling buckets. There's no end to what I have to go through to make sure my other tanks do not get this bacteria. You may think I sound paranoid, but if you saw how this sickness ravages a healthy fish inside of a couple days, you would understand my position a little easier. Now I do have a 40 gallon aquarium I can use, but only until October, as that's when I close my pond for the winter and bring in my fish. So come October, I have a couple choices. I can add the fish to a healthy show tank, which I will never ever do. These fish to me are contaminated and I would never feel comfortable putting them in with any other fish. I cannot sell them. I cannot take them to my local fish store. I do not want them in my house anymore. I am living in fear of cross-contamination. Believe me, I know all about sterilization. I also know accidents happen. One slip or mix-up and I could easily spread this contagion to the other many tanks I have in my home. I have too much to lose to take that risk. I lost another peacock today to this illness, so now I'm down to six adults. My beautiful deep water hap has the tiniest redness around his fin. It's been there a couple days now, but I am sure it's columnaris. My 55 gallon has six juvenile cichlids in it. Of those six, four are now showing the sickness. They are suffering as well. I have been struggling with this decision as it goes against everything I believe in. I do not take this lightly and have wrestled with this for days now. Please don't judge me on my decision unless you have been in this place I find myself in. I actually feel a sense of relief having made my decision. Tomorrow I will make clove oil and then I'm going to euthanize my remaining cichlids. It, it's going to kill me to do this, but I'm sure this is for the best. Not just for the well-being of my other aquariums, but for my own sanity. I thank you all for your support, your advice, your encouragement, your love and acceptance of me. I sincerely hope sharing this decision doesn't change your opinion of me or of my love for my cichlids. It's out of fear and love for them that I feel this is my only choice. Once I've taken care of my cichlids, then I have a lot of work ahead of me. I will tear down both my 75 and 55 gallon aquariums. I'll sterilize everything I can and dispose of the things I will need to replace. I will have both aquariums cycle and when they are fully 100% clear of any trace of bacteria, not a second before. This is not just a lot of work, but this entire experience has been a huge financial hit as well. We all know what it costs in time and money to have the beauty we all have in our aquariums. Starting over is the best choice I can make. I just wanted you to know that this is what I have decided. You don't have to support me in this as we all have our own feelings on this subject. It's a, the very last thing I wanted to do, but I know it's right. So until next time, this is Deb Tim signing out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.